Uh, the general lady from the 40th district, Representative Lakanoff. Thank you, Speaker Jenkins. Deborah Lakanoff with the 40th LD. I too come from a rural community. I come from a community where I have over 800 farmers that live and thrive in the Skagit, where we are facing droughts, we are facing water shortage, and it is due to climate change. And we are trying to find ways to address that together. I too come from a rural community where I have thousands of fishermen, tribal fishermen, commercial fishermen, recreational lifestyles that depend on cool, clean water for salmon, and they too are facing climate change. I come from a rural community where my migrant farmers are facing the impacts of what it's going to be to live and work in an area that's going to face the impacts of climate change. My community to community stand strong in understanding that this house, this people's house that best represents and protects them, is going to pass climate change laws and a clean fuel energy bill tonight to help protect them. I stand with a young woman today who said the house is on fire. The house is on fire and it is our house. I too stand here for the generations yet to come, those children's children who will look back on us and say, you burnt our house down. And on the backs of those children, they are gonna have to build the house that we allowed to burn down. Madam Speaker, it is an honor to stand here today in the people's house and to speak about what One Washington is. From my rural community to other rural communities, we believe that this decision tonight is the right decision. We believe it is the decision of the next generation. And we and my rural community believe that we can only do this better together. Thank you.